Apple's annual developer conference, WWDC 2023, has kicked off and Apple has previewed the latest software update for iPhones, iOS 17, which will be available to users later this year. Hey everyone, my name is Ishan, this is Gadgets360 and in this video, we'll show everything that's new in iOS 17. So, let's get started. Apple has previewed the next software update for iPhones, iOS 17. The update includes some major upgrades to the phone app, messages, and FaceTime. Apple has now added personalized contact posters so users can choose the photos that appear on the phones of people they call. These can include emojis, different fonts for names, filters, etc. This is similar to the lock screen customization features Apple announced with iOS 16 last year. This will work not only with phone calls but also VoIP apps. The Messages app is also getting an upgrade with iOS 17. All iMessage apps will now be available in a menu to the side of the text field. With the new catch-up feature, you can jump to the first unread message in a conversation and catch up on what you have missed. Filters can now help you narrow down search results. The new check-in feature allows iPhone users to share their location so trusted contacts can make sure they have arrived at their destination safely. Audio messages can now also show up as transcribed text for times when you might not be able to play them. Users will also be able to access all their stickers in one place and can use them across third-party apps as well. FaceTime will now allow you to record a video message if the user you're trying to reach isn't available to take the call. Hand gestures will be recognized to trigger animated reaction effects during FaceTime calls. iOS devices will also be able to be used as webcam for FaceTime calls on an Apple TV device. iOS 17 will have some other system-level changes, including the new standby mode. The user can place their iPhone horizontally while it's charging and the display will change to show a large clock, relevant widgets and other information like a smart display. AirDrop and SharePlay can be used without going into the settings. Users can exchange their numbers by bringing their iPhones close to one another and tapping on a new Share pop-up. Large AirDrop file transfers will continue over the internet even if you move out of range once the transfer starts. Apple also announced a new application called Journal, in which users can maintain a diary using prompts based on photos, activities, location, and other sensor information. Apart from these updates, there are also improvements to the AutoCorrect, the Health app, and Siri, which you can trigger just by saying Siri rather than Hey Siri each time you want to use it. The iOS 17 developer beta is already available and the public beta will be available to install starting in July. The final build will be released with the 2023 iPhone lineup later this year. All iPhone models starting from the iPhone XR will support this update. Watch out for our how to install the iOS 17 public beta and hands-on video which will be dropping soon and let us know which of these features piqued your interest the most in the comments. See you guys in the next one. Until then, keep following Gadgets360 for all things tech.